If you ever have conventional fished for bass, you know that skirted jigs with crawdad plastics seem to produce some of the largest bass. I created this fly to mimic these jigs. You want to start with a long shank and medium to thick wire hook. I am using a Gamagatsu SS15 in size 1 odd. First we want to prepare the claws for this fly. Measure about a hook length of rabbit zonker strip. Pull back the hairs to expose the flesh and snip at that measurement. Then strip off a few hairs off the back, but save these fibers. Repeat this two more times to create three separate pieces. Start your thread near the eye of the hook. I am using Danville's 210 flat waxed in a brown color, but any strong thread will work. Then bring the thread back to just shy of the eye of the hook. Tie in a very heavy dumbbell eye to keep the fly on the bottom and sink quickly like a jig. For more information on attaching dumbbells, click the dumbbell link at the top of the video. Like always, add a drop of super glue to keep the dumbbell in place. Now bring the thread back to the bend of the hook. Cut some strands of rubber legs and attach them in the back of the hook. Tie them in in the center of the clump, then fold the other side over and tie that in as well, so all the legs are pointing rearward. Now add some flashaboo in the same manner as the rubber legs. I am using holographic black flashaboo, but use whatever color you see fit. Next, I add a bit of crystal flash. I like using bronze or gold color for this fly, but get creative and use whatever color you want. Now dub in the fibers you saved from stripping off the rabbit strip. Wind these in to form a small dubbing ball. This will help flare out the claws. Rotate your hook upside down and tie in a zonker strip so it's pointed slightly upward. Now, tie one in on the other side so it's pointing the same way. Next, we will be adding some rubber legs to form the skirt for the jig. An easy way of attaching these is to lay them on the hook and put a drop of UV curing resin on them, then cure them with your UV light. The resin I like using for this is made by Solares and is their thin hard formula. After they are attached with the resin, I like to wrap around them a few times just for added security. Then bring your thread to just behind the dumbbell eyes. Now add some more rubber legs just in front of the dumbbell eyes. And wrap them a few times also for added security. This can be a bit tricky when there are so many legs in your way. Just take your time. Then bring the thread back to the rabbit strips and rotate the fly upside down. I find when the fly is in this position, it makes the next step much easier. This next step is to dub in the body of the fly. For this, I like using a stripped tinsel type dubbing, like ice dub or super flash dubbing. Go ahead and load up the dubbing thick. We are not tying a midge here. When winding in the dubbing, make sure and cover the whole shank making extra wraps around the rubber legs. End your wraps just past the dumbbell eyes. Now grab your last zonker strip and tie it in so it's over the top of the hook point. Then cut the zonker strip just shy of the hook point to prevent it from getting in the way of the hook set. This now looks like the head of a crawdad. Now dub in a bit more of the flashy dubbing and wrap it over the zonker strip and the rubber legs. This will hide all your wraps. Now you can whip finish your fly. For the final step, I like adding a bit more of that UV curing resin over the top of the dumbbell eyes. 
This will form a flat bottom to the fly and will help it sit nicer on the bottom. Then rotate the fly over and add a bit of the resin on top of the wraps also to secure everything in place. With all the resin on the fly, this is very durable. Aggressive hits from bass do not tear this fly apart. And there we have it, a very effective crawdad pattern that fishes much like a skirted jig. As you can see, this fly moves very nicely in the water. It sits nicely on the bottom with the claws in a defensive position, and the skirt expands outward. It really does look like a crawdad moving through the water. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Now go catch some fish.